Positive thinking. What a load of nonsense. Do you ever think that? I do. There is a lot of rubbish out there about this. Hey, you've got to think positive. 20 plus years ago, when I started doing courses on the psychology of performance, positive thinking was one of the buzzwords. And there was a lot of material coming out there saying, hey, no matter what's happening to you, you've got to think positive. Your partner's left, you've got to think positive. And what they really meant was you've got to plaster a smile on your face when inside you're dying. Well, that's not what it's about. In fact, I actually heard positive thinking being blamed for the crash in 2008. People being encouraged to think positive, borrow loads of money. Then they couldn't run their businesses and they couldn't pay it back. What we're talking about here is developing resilience, understanding our mindset and the way we think so that we can become mentally tough and mentally stronger. We're talking about emotional intelligence in order to develop our resilience. Now, when I ask people what emotional intelligence is, a lot of people turn around when I'm running a course and say, well, it's about the way you understand other people's emotions so that you can help them with it. And that is definitely part of it. But actually, the bigger part of it is understanding your own emotions, becoming aware of your own emotions, but then also the ability to change those emotions. Mood management is what I call it, okay? Mood management. You see, the way we feel affects the way we behave, but actually, also, the way we behave affects the way we feel. So the ability to understand our moods and change them is really important. Uh, that shot okay? Yeah, it's grand. You finish that up and then we'll get started. Cool. Ooh. Sweetheart, have you had coffee in my cup? He has. The first thing we need to understand is that our emotions are simply a chemical reaction to the things that are happening around us. Adrenaline, serotonin, noradrenaline, cortisol, these are just some of the hundreds that your body can produce. The way you're feeling right now is simply because of a combination of some of those chemicals. So how do we change it if you're in a mood and you want to change? Think of it like a cup. Have you ever had a cup of orange juice in a cup that had already had coffee in it? It tastes horrible, doesn't it? You wouldn't just suddenly pour orange in. You'd wash it out first. If you want to change your mood, you have to wash the chemicals out before you can move on to the next. Consciously and deliberately changing your mood. You've got to find the thing that does it for you. So let's say you have a row with that person in the office and you know you've got something important coming up and you don't want to be feeling angry anymore and it is by the way important not to want it because let's face it sometimes we do quite like to wallow but there does come a time when we go I'm fed up of feeling angry I want to feel happy what can you do to wash the cup out wash your system out now I quite like music so I find that going for a walk with my headphones on listening to a particular song and there are some songs that make me laugh you know, comedy songs. Sometimes there are ones that make me feel happy. I just can't help it. Maybe I relate it to something that I know from previous times. Maybe a bit of dancing. I'm not suggesting you dance in the office. You can knit to the loo for that and hope nobody's around. I don't know. But you have to have a conscious strategy that changes you from one mood to another. I'm told on incredibly good authority that on average, it takes about 40 minutes to change an emotion on average. When you get good at this, you can do it faster. But here's something really important. If you're in the middle of your walk that's going to calm you down and you bump into somebody and they go, oh, I hear you had a row with so-and-so, it's really important you don't start pouring more coffee into the cup. Yeah, I know. I had a row. What an idiot. And they go, yeah, I know. I, I had that row with that. But realize that you're pouring the coffee in again. You've got to continuously keep on your mood management strategy because that's emotional intelligence.